What's going on guys, Blinkfro here and today I'm bringing you week 3 of my Dolphins franchise, Dolphins coach career and as you guys saw I just upgraded Reggie Bush's injury attribute so hopefully he won't get injured as often I think that's like the number one thing I gotta improve with him is his injury stuff and then like I said in my past video awareness, block shedding for the defensive um, line, you know that's a big thing awareness for you know all the other defensive positions and then offensive positions is usually just like route running and pass blocking or run blocking or whatnot. Um, but the reason this video has been so delayed, I feel like it's been like two weeks, um, is I've had I've been having problems with my computer. Like my graphics card was faulty, and uh, my computer is just like I, it's all screwed up right now, and it's making editing um, a real problem. And on top of that, you know, I've been enjoying 2K. I've been enjoying you know. Hanging out at Syracuse, stuff, I don't know, stuff like that, whatever, it's stuff you don't care about. Uh, but yeah, there's John Moffat getting his pass blocking up, and uh, Jake Long, he accepted his contract negotiation, and Randy Starks did not, so we're going to bump up that offer a little bit more. Uh, I know he has a desired uh, amount, so maybe I should get closer to that if I still want him on my team. Uh, but we're going up against, I think that was the 2-0 Jets, and we're the 0-2 Dolphins. Uh, so this one is at home in Florida. We're rocking those orange jerseys. I do like the alternate orange jerseys for the Dolphins quite a bit uh, with the new Nike symbol on them. I think those ones have the Nike symbol on them, right? Uh, I'm sure that this orange one's like an official Nike jersey or whatever. Because, um, you know, if you go to the old retro ones, you know, a.k.a. retro from last year, there's no logo on them because they're like, you know what, screw you. We're not going to put your logo on the game because you're not Nike. Um, but we do stop the Jets. Uh, on their first drive and get the ball here. We get sacked on third down. Uh, that is DeVito with the sack on Tannehill. And Sean Green's going to make a nice cut there and get a couple yards on that play. And you're going to notice throughout this video, um, because I'm playing on all Madden and there's been issues with the run game on all Madden, no matter what the sliders are, um, the Jets are going to get stuffed quite a bit on the run game. Actually, I won't show you st like me stuffing the run. Um, you'll you'll see like when Sean Green gets a carry he'll have like horrible horrible yards um, and they're patching that I think October 16th um, so I haven't played week four yet uh, as of the 4th of October so hopefully by the time we get to like week eight or something it'll be patched and everything will be good but we're gonna continue with these sliders so far and you're going to see Santonio San Holmes almost gets a catch there but then it is tipped away and with eight minutes um, already gone in the first there's still yet to be a score Kellen Winslow gets a nice reception there on the right hand side and I, I feel like I'm gonna be saying this every video but Kellen Winslow is the man um, probably one of my favorite tight ends in the league and he just tears it up on this Dolphins team and after a face mask call we do get 15 yards and an automatic first down Kellen Winslow gets another reception there and then we're gonna find a somewhat wide open Brian Hartline who would drop the ball uh, the Jets player kind of Blended in with the end zone, and he did manage to tip it away. But Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush picks up a first down, but we get called for holding, which will eventually result in a third and 19. So Ryan Tannehill is going to go deep to the right to Devon Bess, and that is going to be tipped. Uh, so we're going to have to kick a field goal to start the second quarter. That is Dan Carpenter drilling that, and I wish I knew how long that was. I did not look at where we were on the field, uh, but I would say it's about a 40-yarder. And it's Sean Green, like, what? He's just trucking over everyone, throwing everyone to the ground. And I think it said he had six carries for seven yards, which is pretty bad. Um, but you're going to see Sean Smith here. He gets the interception there. Um, I feel like, why am I, why am I doing this? <laughs> um, <laughs> anyways, Javorski Lane is going to get a face mask call there after picking up about eight yards. I don't, do they tack it on after that eight yards? I think they do tack the 15 on after that eight uh, so we do pick up like uh, 23 yards there, if my math is correct. Um, then we're going to get 6-yard carry there, and then Reggie Bush is going to get another big carry there, 9 yards, so that will result in 2nd and goal. Ryan Tannehill going to the right, and that is picked off by Smith, um, Eric Smith, right? Uh, and the thing about that play is I swore Kellen Winslow was supposed to continue running in the back of the end zone, but he stopped and cut in. Uh, so that's why that pick was thrown. I don't know if that was my fault or just a bad route by Kellen Winslow. I don't know what it was, uh, but Kellen Winslow is going to get another good reception there. And Ryan Tannehill looked kind of weird throwing that ball, but it is pretty sweet this game. I don't know why am I saying that. 
Uh, <laughs> Throw the ball to Anthony Armstrong. That one is no good. And we're going to cut later into the half. And with 11 seconds left, we, we stop the Jets. And we wind up tacking on a field goal to end the half. So we're up 6 to nothing. Uh, and the reason I cut so much out is it was just a bunch of three and outs. Um, but Brian Hartline's going to get a reception there on third and six to give us the first down. And Brian Hartline's been pretty beast in real life. He had that one 230-yard uh, game last week. That was just insane. If he can continue that, that is that is going to be fun to watch. But second and 12, we give the ball to Reggie Bush after a holding call, and he's going to get injured. And um, I swore I showed it. Um, I don't know why it didn't pop up. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's on this play. Strained elbow will return soon. I decided just to hold him out just, just so he doesn't get injured again. And we do go for it on fourth and inches. The fake field goal pass and scramble with Matt Moore. Just because I want to get our first win of the season. And there is Miller there. Lamar Miller cutting it to the left-hand side. Giving us the first touchdown of the game to bring us up 13-0 over the Jets. And then uh, Dustin Keller is going to pick up first down there. And this will be pretty sweet if we win our first game. So it's not like we're 0-3. And I do like where the sliders are at right now. Uh, except for the run game. Like I said, that should be patched later. And Sean Green picks up a first down. But that is going to get called back on a holding penalty. Uh, so it'll result in a third and nine. Mark Sanchez dropping back to the right-hand side, and Sean Smith is going to pick off his second pass this game. Uh, he's going to shut off a tackle there and eventually get brought down at the 24-yard line. So we're in position to score once again. We're going to hit Legadu Nene for a nine, eight-yard gain, I should say, on that play. And then third and two, Ryan Tannehill, just a horrible pass. No one was really open, and we're going to have to settle for another field goal to bring us up 16-0 to over the New York Jets um, with 2.27 left in the third. So Mark Sanchez, the draw play to Sean Green, 13 rushes for 12 yards. So, yeah, the run game is a little bit broken. Uh, and I do blitz quite a bit. I don't know if that has a you know, huge effect on it. Um, but the Jets aren't able to convert on third down. And they're punting it to Lamar Miller, who's going to cut this one out to the left-hand side. Uh, not really get any good blocks after that. And pick up a 30-yard punt return, or close to a 30-yard punt return, uh, which I thought was worthy of showing. And look at this pass to Kellen Winslow, uh, just barely finding his way inbounds. Uh, to give us the huge gain there and Lamar Miller getting close to a first down third and inches to begin the fourth quarter uh, fake to Javorski Lane getting a good block and Lamar Miller is taking this one close to the 15 yard line so first and 10 play action to Lamar Miller and Kel Winslow is going to catch the pass and find his way into the end zone so we set up the run game a little bit did a play action and that was successful for a touchdown and then Sean Green's going to go ahead and get a 15, 14 yard reception there to give the Jets a first down. And Mark Sanchez is going to go ahead and hit Clyde Gates for another first down. So the Jets are finally firing on offense, uh, but it could be a little too late. Santonio San Holmes with another first down for the Jets. Uh, it's kind of a shame he's out for the whole season in real life, as well as the Rel Rivas. The Jets' seen it, season's kind of in jeopardy. Uh, and then you saw there Stephen Hill with a first down. Sean Green picking up five yards. He still won't go down. Um, so the Jets are faced with third and five. And I think I just showed that in the beginning. They're 0 of 9 on third downs for the game. Make that 0 of 10. And they decide to go for it on fourth and seven. Mark Sanchez is going to drop back and look to the right-hand side to Redmond. And that one is going to not be a first down. So we're going to get the ball back with about four minutes left in the game. Brian Hartline. Not going to make to the first down marker, so we'd have to punt it back to the Jets. So they got 3.06 left in the game to score two touchdowns and get two extra points or, you know, uh, two two-point conversions. But they failed to convert on third, so we're going to put in Corey Harris. Um, and he's going to hit Kel Winslow for a reception there. And we're just going to give it here to Daniel Thomas to run down the rest of the clock. And that's going to wrap up the game. We shut out the Jets 23 to nothing. Um, I, I don't know what it was. The Jets just weren't getting their offense going at all. You're going to see the stats in just a bit. They were pretty poor on offense, and we were doing pretty good on defense. And I don't think I threw an interception this game, so that's pretty good. We had 259 yards total offense, while the Jets only had 119. Uh, their defense was doing pretty well, uh, but our defense was better. And as you guys see, they did not convert on third down once. Ryan Tannehill, 14 of 24. Mark Sanchez, 14 of 25. And Ryan Tannehill only had one interception. 
Uh, oh, yeah, that was the one in the end zone. So, you know, it's better than throwing four interceptions like we did in the first two games. So we already have nine interceptions through three games, which is pretty bad. But here are the receiving stats. Kellen Winslow hit the 100-yard mark. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching and tune in next time.